Today we will talk about iPhone SE 3. We are likely to see a third iPhone SE model come out at some point. As it's a phone convention Apple seems to be continuing with, but we've no idea just yet when it'll show up. When it eventually comes out, the iPhone SE 3 probably won't be called that, and it'll likely follow the iPhone SE 2020's naming convention with the year of release in the title, but right now, we don't even know for sure what year the next affordable iPhone will release. The iPhone SE 2020 was one of the most exciting iPhones of 2020, providing excellent Apple hardware and software in a compact size and at a relatively low price. So how can Apple top that? Easy at some of the features from the flagships to the next mid-range iPhone SE. The iPhone 13 series launched with a few new features and tech. And while the iPhone SE 3 wasn't announced alongside the next range of flagship iPhones, perhaps the most exciting perks in those devices might trickle down to the mid-range iPhone SE line too. Latest news. We've seen some leaks around the iPhone SE 3 specs, but it doesn't sound as though the design is going to change much from its predecessor. For now though, you'll find what little we have heard, along with a wish list of the things that we hope the iPhone SE 3 will offer below. iPhone SE 3 release date and price. We thought the iPhone SE 3 might land at Apple's spring-loaded event in April, after all, that would be a year after the iPhone SE 2020 launched, but it was no-show. Not too surprised though, as we've previously seen a couple of leaks and rumors suggesting that there won't be an iPhone SE 3 this year, perhaps to give the iPhone 13 mini more time in the spotlight, so we might be waiting a long time for the phone, if we get it at all. If that's the case though then there may well be one in 2022 at least, because it's also rumored that there won't be an iPhone 14 mini, meaning Apple might rely on the SE line for fans of smaller phones. At this point, several rumors point to a 2022 release, with sources suggesting the phone will land in the first half of the year. And there's also the iPhone SE Plus to consider. This was rumored to land sometime after the iPhone SE 2020. And while we haven't heard much about it lately, Ming-Chi Kuo, an analyst with a good track record when it comes to Apple, claimed back in April 2020 that the iPhone SE Plus might not land until the second half of 2021. So this might land instead of the iPhone SE 3 or maybe we'll get an iPhone SE 3 and an iPhone SE 3 Plus. It's hard to say at this point. As for the price, there's no news there, but the iPhone SE 2020 starts at $399, so the iPhone SE 3 is likely to have a similar price, if not perhaps slightly higher. The iPhone SE 3 might have a similar price to its predecessor. iPhone SE 3 news, leaks and rumors. The biggest iPhone SE 3 leak so far has revealed a number of the possible specs. Apparently the phone will have an A15 Bionic chipset and support 5G, but might otherwise be similar to its predecessor, with the same bezel-heavy design and 4.7-inch LCD screen. We've also previously heard that it might have a 4.7-inch LCD screen and 5G support, so those aspects are looking likely. More recently a third source has weighed in to say the A15 chip and 5G will be added, but the design and screen size won't change with the next refresh. Elsewhere we've heard that Apple could bring face ID to a future iPhone SE model, that would likely mean a substantial change to the design, with no more home button, and a notch instead. However given that the leaks above suggest a similar design for the iPhone SE 3, this change might be further out. What we want to see, as good as the iPhone SE 2020 is, there's always room for improvement. So here's what we want from the iPhone SE 3. A modern design? The iPhone SE 2020 has a rather old-fashioned design, and certainly an older design than the rest of the current iPhone range. So we'd like to see things brought up to date for the iPhone SE 3. By that we mean get rid of the home button, and the big bezels above and below the screen, for a more modern look. Doing this would also allow Apple to increase the screen size, without increasing the overall size of the handset, or alternatively keep the screen the same size, and shrink the phone even smaller. An OLED screen with a higher resolution, iPhone SE 2020. The SE 2020 S screen doesn't overly impress. The iPhone SE 2020 has an IPS LCD screen, with a 750x1335 resolution, neither of which are exactly cutting edge. Now, there are of course limits to what can be done with a mid-range phone. But when you consider that the similarly priced OnePlus Nord and Google Pixel 4 both manage a higher resolution and OLED technology, comma, it's hard to see how Apple could justify omitting these things from the next iPhone SE model. That said, we wouldn't count on getting either. Apple rarely competes with Android phones on pure specs. Better battery life. The iPhone SE 2020 has a small 1821 map 
which might seem reasonable given the phone's compact size, but we found it didn't go far, lasting around a day. That's not terrible, but it's certainly not impressive. So we'd like much more from the battery in the iPhone SE 3, whether that's achieved through increasing the size or making things more efficient. Keep it small and affordable. The iPhone SE 2020 stands out through both its small size and its relatively affordable price. And we want both of those things to remain for the iPhone SE 3. There aren't many compact phones anymore, certainly not ones with good specs. And nor are iPhones known for being affordable. So the two things make for a great combination. More cameras? iPhone SE Review. The iPhone SE 2020 has just one rear camera, which isn't really enough. The iPhone SE 2020 has just one camera on the back and one on the front. And while they perform reasonably well, they don't give you the versatility that you can get with more lenses. Of course, with even the iPhone 11, only having a dual lens snapper, we don't expect too much more from the iPhone SE 3. But when you consider that rivals like the OnePlus Nord and Moto G 5G Plus have four cameras on the back, and two on the front, you think an extra lens or two wouldn't be too much to ask for. 5G. At the time of writing no current iPhone supports 5G, that will likely change with the launch of the iPhone 12, but we really hope Apple lets the tech filter down to the iPhone SE 3, as it's already available on some of the SE 2020 S key rivals, notably the aforementioned OnePlus Nord and Moto G 5G+. While Google has confirmed that a Pixel 4 a 5G is on the way, a higher refresh rate, Another feature offered by a number of rivals now is a high refresh rate. The iPhone SE 2020 has a 60Hz refresh rate, which until relatively recently was what all handsets other than gaming phones offered, but now a number of mainstream models have refresh rates of 90Hz or 120Hz. It's a feature that some of the iPhone 12 range will likely offer, but we're not optimistic that Apple will bring it to the iPhone SE 3, since no current iPhones offer high refresh rates. So Apple is likely to keep the tech as a premium feature for a while, but it would be great if the company did start including, this is a standard feature, it could still differentiate by giving its flagships a 120Hz rate, and the iPhone SE 3 a refresh rate of 90Hz. This was all known information at the moment, thanks for watching, if you like this video, like, subscribe, click to bell, Siri was with you.